Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, the director of Nature Reliance School, and in this video, we're going to take you through how to safely utilize a knife. First and foremost, I'm going to talk about how to take a knife in and out of a sheath. So, if you're wearing a belt sheath and you pull it out, it's pretty easy to do that, and I think it's real obvious. When sticking back in, I see some of my beginner students want to just try to do this, and it's easy to miss and stab yourself. So, what I recommend is grabbing the blade near the end, putting it easily into the sheath, and then letting it go on in. And that way, everything's in and out safely. Secondly, one of the things that comes up, and I think the Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts are the ones that kind of define this for a lot of people when they refer to it as a blood circle. And what I mean by that is that anything that's within my reach in this circle right here, I should never allow anybody within that circle if I'm going to be utilizing a knife. So if you're out on your own, it's not something you need to be concerned about. However, if you're in a group like in a survival class at Nature Reliance School or some other class or you're camping, you want to make sure that you have this area clear. Now don't forget this area right here because one of the things that comes up is that you might be cutting right here. Somebody doesn't realize it and they come walking by and you cut them as they walk by you. So you want to make sure that you know what's in front of you and behind you and all sides when you're utilizing a knife. Now as far as the knife is concerned, the thing that we're going to be most concerned about is two spots and that is the pointy end and basically the sharp side of the knife. And so at all times, you should never have yourself or anyone else that is on the other side of those dangerous aspects of this weapon. Okay, And I call it a weapon because it can be utilized as a weapon, not just necessarily a tool. So with that said, when I utilize this knife, I never want to have it facing me. I never have want to have it pointing towards me when I'm utilizing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of sticks and uh, cordage and stuff of that nature and show you some of the things that are real common to do in a camping or survival situation and show you the proper technique so you don't cut yourself. So let's say that you want to cut a branch and you want to utilize it to, I don't know, cook a hot dog or something. Or you're going to utilize it for whatever it might be, shelter building or whatever. And you want to cut the branches off. So if you're going to be cutting small branches, make sure you get real close to the collar of the branch. You'll see that the collar is this area right here. If you get within the collar of the branch, it'll cut off rather easily. And when you're cutting, make sure that you're keeping this within what I refer to as the wheelhouse. You want to be within this area right here. The more you go out here, the weaker you get. The more you're right here, the stronger you are. So if I was going to sharpen this stick or I'm going to cut these branches off, again, I'm going to keep it in my wheelhouse. I don't want to have it out here. Now, the other part of this is I don't want to be cutting like this. I don't want to be cutting towards myself. So I see some, again, these are beginners and people that are new and that's why I'm making this video to help. Having your hand along the stick and you're cutting in this direction, that's danger waiting to happen. Always make sure that the sharp side, the edge, and the point are away from you whenever you're going to use a knife. Now what happens a lot of times, let's say we're going to use the same stick and we get into this and we're starting to have trouble. Like it gets hung up on something. You'll see people when they start to bear down on it and then they'll end up doing something. I'm back up so you can see it. They'll end up bearing down on it and they'll cut their leg or something of that nature. So if you're cutting something with a knife and you get to the point where you're running into a lot of trouble, then just calm down, take your patience, maybe cut a little bit more of it, ease into it where you're cutting some small cuts and then you can make the big cut that needs to be made. And that way you're not trying to do this one big cut and slipping and cutting yourself. Or again, somebody else that might be walking by. Let's take cordage for example, in this case paracord. And you want to cut a sliver of this paracord off. So a lot of people I'll see will put their thumb right down on it and they're thinking about the paracord itself. And they're not really thinking about the fact that their thumb is directly on the blade. So what we want to make sure we do is that if we're going to cut some paracord, we lay the cordage across the blade. Watch how I do that. I just lay the cordage across and then pull it. And then again, I'm cutting away from myself. So the key to this is that I'm always, and I can't emphasize this enough, I'm always putting the edge and the point away from me at all times. So make sure you don't put it like this. And at the same time, once you get it there, you don't pull the knife back to yourself to cut. You want to make sure that you're cutting 
away from yourself. This is one of those things that comes up a lot in bushcrafting skills where we're going to make a hand drill or perhaps a, a, a regular bow drill in that we want to cut a divot in here. And so you don't want to take your knife and just, in essence, utilize it like a drill. And so if you're pushing through like this, you don't have a lot of control over the blade itself. So again, I'm going to hold it like I do when I place it back in my sheath where I've only got a small portion of the blade that's stuck up right there. And then I'm going to slowly but surely cut my notch out. And the way I'm doing that is that I'm not cutting towards myself. So basically, I'm not going to jam. And if I do jam, and let's say it slips, because this is a dangerous situation here where I'm basically pushing towards my hand, I'm not going to jam it so far into my hand that I'm going to cut my finger off. So if I take my time, again, if I get to a point where I'm running into trouble and it's not going, then just take your time have patience with it and that's going to be real key to not stabbing yourself. Same thing is true for a handhold on a bow drill and usually handholds are really hard material and so if I'm going to do this it's going to be more difficult than it is to cut some of the material that I'll use for a for a hearth. So I'm basically pushing the knife towards myself so I don't want to get in a rush here. So again I can dig my knife in, cut around and keep turning and as I'm turning, I'm basically, if I slip, if I slip, let's say there's some sort of abnormality in the wood itself. If I slip, I slip off and away from myself. I don't slip into myself. So in that regard, I'm always turning the apparatus and I'm not hurting myself. So another one that comes up that often is let's say I want to cut and either score or mark a limb. What happens a lot is that you put your thumb right here directly over the blade and you score it. And if something cuts through, you end up cutting your thumb. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. One way that's still a tad bit dangerous is to put your thumb off to the side so that if it slips through, uh, it won't cut your thumb. But there's an even safer way and I'll show you that as well. So you can find some sort of log or stump or something of that nature that provides a base for you. And you can put your knife down and you can twirl and have a use the base so that you can, if you need to do this on something really hard, like you're cutting in something really deep, or if you're just holding it in your hand and just scoring it or something of that nature, you can just twist it in your hand. But again, if I'm going to cut something really deep, I have a base and I can twist, take my time, and I'll get the deep cut. And then what happens here is that I can break it and it'll break real even. So that's really it. The thing that I would like to make sure that you understand, and I talked about this in the knife uh, sharpening skill set, is a dull knife is a dangerous knife and a sharp knife is not as dangerous. And so you wanna make sure that your knife stays sharp as, at all times. The more dull your knife is, the more you put that strong effort into it and you end up cutting yourself. The other thing that's just vitally important is that you never lay your knife down. You either have it in your hand and you're utilizing it or it is in your sheath, okay? If that sheath's not on your belt, that's fine. It can be in a pack, but never just lay your knife down because what happens in that situation is that either you trip on it, somebody else steps on it, it's easy to get lost, and there's never, ever a time that you should ever lay your knife down. Say so that's a big time woods no-no, so don't make that mistake. So if you found this, uh, hey, thinking about that, that's another thing you should never do. You should never point your knife at anybody. Never use it as a pointing device. And so I'm never going to uh, say, go over there, go over there, or say, hey, you, come here, something of that nature. That's rude and that's dangerous, so don't ever do that. So if you found this video to be helpful, you can help us out by giving us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, we really appreciate it. So as always, with Nature Reliance School, come on, join in, and let's learn together.